Hey everybody, Grizz here. Told you I'd do a video. I wasn't fibbing. So today I'm going to show you a little bit what's on the go, what all the little projects I have on the go, but I'm just going to start on something quick. It's a little bit of a review on a product. Um, I needed a couple molds really quick, so I uh, called up my Smooth On Rep and got this Mold Max 30. It comes in two parts, part A and part B and you're mixing it at a ratio of a hundred, like a hundred parts to 10 parts. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make your mold, as your little box, your little frame. Uh, doesn't matter, I mean, you don't have to be exact size. I just take these random pieces of melamine, uh, slap them together. Um, I just put a little bit of hot glue on the pieces that are gonna be done just to stick them down. I silicone the corners just so it doesn't run out and the bottoms on the outside so you don't get any overage. Um, they recommend you use a release on the box and the pieces. I use their product, it's uh, Smoothon's uh, Man, M-A-N-N -N, release, unfortunate name, but um, it works really good, uh, evaporates really fast so your mold's ready to go. So once you've got that ready, then you're gonna you're gonna figure out, decide what you think you're gonna need to do about a half inch above the height of the piece you're you're going to be casting. So you take the part A, you mix it first in the bucket for a few minutes, give it a good stir, then you're gonna transfer it to your measuring device. You have to have a scale that reads grams. So you put your put your container on the scale. You zero it or tear, T-A-R-E, to zero and fill out how much you think you're gonna need. Then you divide that amount by 10. So then you'd have a small container, make sure that's zeroed off. Take part B, divide it by how much you had on part 10, uh, part A by 10, uh, put that in the little cup. Then you're gonna pour it in and you're gonna stir it for three minutes, set a little timer. Uh, I just use a stick, nice with square edges, so it's easy to get the edges of uh, the container that you're mixing in. Stir for three minutes, like I said, set a timer, uh, and then you're ready to pour it into your mold. Now, there's a little trick. When you first read this, it says make sure to uh, degas, vacuum degas your product. Well, I don't have one, and I'm sure 90% of you people out there don't have one either. So what the trick is, I just went on YouTube, and there's a few uh, tutorials on this stuff, is you pick a low point. You're going to pour into a low point, like back here or in here. You're not going to pour directly onto the piece. And what I did is I'd have one of those little two-step, uh, like a painter's buddy that you do painting, cutting in with. So I just went up a step on it and you hold your container up quite high and then you pour in a nice slow steady little stream out in a back corner and you let it fill, do its own level don't be squiggling over top of the product just all in one spot uh, it takes a little bit just hold the jug and just keep a slow steady little stream and all the bubbles come out of the product so you have to let it set for I think it's at least 16 hours in your room it has to be 73 degrees Fahrenheit and they really strongly suggest you don't do it anywhere cooler or it might not set um, So anyway, this was just overnight. I did this about noon yesterday and it's now 25 after 7. I think I demolished it at 7 o'clock. I took it apart and here's the piece. It's nice. It's firmed up. Looks really good um, Got all the definition. It, it it's, looks like a really nice mold, so I'm, I'm really happy with it. So if you just needed some quick um, molds in a hurry, um, i I'd definitely uh, consider using this product. Again, I'm using it for something else. I'm going to be using this for clay. They do say that concrete, because of its abrasiveness, will break down a silicone mold pretty quick. So I think if you're, <clears throat> pardon me, if you're using this for a reusable to be used for concrete, I would definitely just stick with the latex rubber on it. But this is something I just needed in a hurry and it, and it filled the spot. So it's a really good product. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna move on quick. What I've got on the tables and what I'm gonna be doing here. 
So there's a few pieces brought back from the dead. Um, this fellow here has probably been away for four or five years, maybe even more, I'm not too sure. It's gonna be a maple leaf pedestal. I'm missing a couple spots in here. And that's what these monster clay leaves are for. They're gonna fill in those little spots. Uh, I'll be doing a video on showing you how to do the leaves and how to apply them. Uh, the original piece was done applique method. That's by actually uh, putting concrete on, on a leaf and inverting it and putting it on this pedestal. So it's, it's painstaking, it's a lot of work. Uh, and is this. This is a bench top that's been put away probably about the same time. Um, same method was the, the concrete with the applique method. Uh, it's going to be a bench top. I've got a lot of gaps around the sides and on the ends and a few spots I want to overlap. So that's what I've been working on. These are all monster clay leaves that are going to be applied to the bench top. Um, all of these Canada leaves here are going to go onto this blank plaster piece that I poured. Uh, it's going to get covered with maple leaves and it's going to be the topper for that piece right there. So it'll be like a Canadiana sort of a, a piece with all the maple leaves on it. So um, so yeah, the plaster is good and cured now. It's been probably a month or so but since I poured it. And then I'm going to do um, another blank I have over here. It's going to get a collage too with a lot of these different leaves that I've got done up and some maple leaves as well. So that'll be filling that one out. <clears throat> I've got this fellow here is gonna be a new piece. This is the uh, base from a piece and then just adding onto it uh, a lotus flower. There's probably gonna be a leaf inside the bowl as well. Uh, the lotus flower, <clears throat> just by on its own, has always been a really good seller. And we were selling the two pieces separate, but uh, I'm kind of digging the idea of having it all one piece gonna look nice when it's all finished got a piece over there uh, that never finished from last year that big uh, pedestal there and over there is the log I think some of you seen I was hollowing out I've been working on it I I work on multiples in a day um, I try and put like an hour or so into each piece and then I move on to something else just keeps the day fresh and moving and so we'll keep you posted and as we go step by step probably the next next video I do is going to be uh, how I did those leaves over there. So hang in there everybody and until next time we'll see you later.